Man, there is so much drama with the Seattle Seahawks right now. It's like watching a high school breakup. Some things that I've noticed since Russell Wilson has been traded, and, and I don't know why I look at these things, but there's things that I look at. Pete Carroll don't follow Russell Wilson no more. Russell Wilson doesn't follow Pete Carroll or the Seahawks. Man, it's like, you just seeing these things, you're like, man, they were together for 10 years, they believed in each other, they followed after each other, and then man, it's over. It just, it just came to an end, an end that just went wham, like it's, it's done. And I'm just, I'm just sitting here like, was the writing on the wall and did we as fans just miss it? Or we were just kind of living in this state of, you know what, we believe the front office. Cause you know, we saw a couple weeks ago, we're like, oh, Pete Carroll's like, hey man, Russ is our quarterback. Russ goes on TV, he's like, yo, you know, I'm not going to Washington, man. I like it in Seattle. And then this whole entire trade is in the works. It's it's crazy, right? The drama is high in Seattle. I mean, it's watching this whole entire thing unfold, the way it's unfolded. I've heard so many perspectives. I've probably watched too many videos. I mean, it's probably the stages of grief that I'm going through. You know, I'm trying to like understand. I'm like, why is it that Russ ain't here no more? Why is it that he's not saying go Hawks? It's just, he's changed his profile picture to these, these orange colors of Broncos. Like what's going on? But in reality, I think as we see all these things come out, we're ultimately seeing things that we didn't, we didn't even see, you know, as they were in, as a team together. I mean, the, the whole thing about possibly getting Josh Allen or Patrick Mahomes, I mean, that obviously creates some rift. And, and you know, I think the whole perspective as I look over this whole entire situation that I, that I think is, is probably pretty accurate, Russ wanted one thing, Pete won another thing, and John Snyder didn't really care on either or, he just wanted to make the best for the team to win. You know, the, I think a lot of people will say things like Seahawks didn't support Russ in trying to get him weapons, or Seahawks didn't support Russ by trying to fix the O-line. They win got a Gabe Jackson. They win drafted Damian Lewis. They win got Dwayne Brown. I'm probably missing some other players. They win got DK Metcalf. They win got Tyler Lock. They definitely tried to appease Russell Wilson. I don't think that by any means should go under the rug and be like, oh, you know, they didn't try to do anything. I think they tried. But I think it came to a point that it was just what had to be done. And it sucks. It's like, man, you watch this player. I mean, for me, I'm a huge fan of Russ. I've watched him since the beginning, but he is different. And and obviously, we all we are all going to be different, right? I'm going to be different probably 10 years from now than, than the man. The man that's sitting here right now will definitely be different 10 years from now. I probably won't be sitting in the same seat. I mean, if this chair lasts me 10 years, pretty good chair. I might even sponsor it on my channel. Like, hey, guys, buy this chair. But the odds are unlikely I'm gonna be sitting in this chair for 10 years from now, or in the same spot. Ultimately, I don't even know what I'm gonna be where, where I am 10 years from now. Point being, people change. So obviously who he was when he came in, who he is now is obviously gonna be different. A lot of people think the hunger of him is different than he used to be. He's more Hollywood. There's all these perspectives, but ultimately the only people that know that, went, that actually went down are those that were in the situation which is Pete Carroll, Russell Wilson, and John Snyder. That's simple. And those that were within the locker room that saw that. At the end of the day, Seattle moves on, Russ moves on. Both sides are stepping into new territory. Both sides are stepping into a place that is probably foreign to each. And what I mean by that is when you spend 10 years with somebody, that's a long time. You get, to, you get to grow a relationship with that person. And it's unfortunate the way that this ended was so ugly. I mean, it, it's ugly. In my perspective, it's, it's pretty ugly. Obviously, a lot of people are like, oh, he needed to go, oh, this, that. There's so many perspectives, man. Seahawks Twitter doesn't even know what they what they want or don't want. Um, I, I think it's, it's just, I mean, it's like us being a 12 year old boy or girl and we're having hormones and we don't even know what we need to give ourselves because there's so many emotions going on. We're like, what is going on? I mean, sometimes some, some of us don't ever grow out of that state. I mean, the, obviously the, the reactions of fans seem to keep showing that, but it's messy. It's a messy situation. And, and I think as I've, I've seen some perspectives, it, it, I guess it had to happen. 
that had to happen for the best of whatever is the best for both sides. Shall be interesting to see what happens though. I don't know if Russ found a better team. What I mean by that is I don't know if he found a better squad when it comes to receivers. A lot of people are like Cortland Sutton, um, Jerry Judy, and Patrick, I believe his name is, first name is Tim Patrick, are better than you know um, DK or Tyler Lockett. I don't think so, but people can believe what they want. However, it is what it is. We're in a new season, we're in, we're in an interesting off season, a lot of dynamics to it and it shall be interesting to watch to see what sides do thank you so much for watching this video i'm going to give you my perspective in the next one what i think about the idea of deshaun watson coming to seattle stay tuned for that one if you enjoyed leave a like comment if you're new go ahead and click that subscribe button and i shall see you in the next one